Hello, I'm Melvin Jackson Jr., writer, director, and producer of the documentary, I'm a Survivor, No Longer a Victim. I felt it was important to do this documentary because one, you know, God put it on my heart to do, and also I wanted to be a part of the solution and simply continue the conversation about domestic violence and bringing awareness to it. It is an ongoing um, thing in our community. We've known um, friends, loved ones that have gone through it or survived it. And we're simply wanting to continue to talk about it. And so I'm honored to have had survivors brave enough to share their stories with us and to help others going through it. So we simply want to do our part and keep the conversation going. Domestic violence is not going anywhere unless we make a change. And even during the COVID-19 era, the numbers have increased. So we have to continue to do our part and use our voices, use our platforms, and to bring awareness to domestic violence. Uh, without further ado, I want to bring to you the promo trailer for I'm a Survivor, No Longer a Victim. Resources, alcohol, numbing mm -hmm. my pain to make it make sense in my mind that I wasn't going through what I was going through with this husband of mine. He got so mad that he put his hand on her throat and when he slipped and then he pulled back, blood was like, it started cushioning down my neck. Seeing me and a girl talking and he just came out of nowhere and grabbed me by my throat as soon as she walked away. That was the first one. Um, we got home and he let me know that he didn't ever want to see me talking to anybody else while he was present. It gets hard. It's, there is no trying to have communication. There is no trying to let them be there and thinking that they're going to change because they don't. Had, those people had said to me at the time, Rachel, you really need to get out of that relationship. And um, no one did because I didn't have the perspective anymore. I to speak about it because I wasn't speaking about it. I felt too ashamed or I felt like when I did speak about it, people would look at me and go, oh, okay, something's wrong with me. You're enough. You, you are worth more than this. You're, you're worthy to be loved. You don't need to be hit. We don't want to just hear the stories. We want to actually act on the stories and how do we continue to bring this awareness? Because of course in the black community, all you hear about is Chris Brown, Chris Brown and Rihanna. That's not the only situation. I'm a survivor and I'm a victim. victim.